Hi, this is Brandon with a short video about reducing poly count in a model. First thing we need to do is actually find out what our poly count is. For this, go to the heads up display, poly count. This will show how many polys are in the scene, also in each piece of the model or the whole model. Right now I have 1,960 tries in this. Let's cut that down. All right, so the first obvious thing is probably just going to be delete edges. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna delete edges that I don't really need. Now looking at this model, I need the outside. I really need the center. But all of these edges in here are really not doing anything for me. Now, I could just hit delete, but if I do that, I'm going to have probably some strange edges. Also, all of these little extra vertices. We don't want that. And I'm going to shift, right click, delete edge. Gone, no extroverts to worry about. Okay, we also have some down here. Let's do this as well. Really, this is, I don't need this many to define this shape. So double click to select. Let's do every other one. Shift, double click, still holding shift, double click, still holding shift, double click. Shift, right click, delete edge. All right, already, let's drop this down by quite a bit. The second option is rework the geometry. This piece in here has more geometry than we need to work with. Let's go to vertices. I'm going to go shift, right click, merge, target weld. I'm going to select it, drag, select it, drag. Now I could continue this with each one. However, I can also hit W out of the tool and simply go to edges double click that edge loop, shift, double click that edge loop, shift right click, delete edge. Also something to take note of, the geometry under this ornamental piece, is this needed? Most definitely not. Also I've got an edge loop in here, let's get rid of that as well. Just double click, shift right click, bring that down, Surely we probably don't need this. We do need that. I do like to keep a centerpiece up until the very end in case I do need to mirror anything. So I'll keep that until the very end of my model. But depending on the project, that might even go away as well. All right, shift right click, delete edge, get rid of those. Now the third option, I'm going to do quad draw. So I'm going to select this model. And just for simplicity, we're going to go to mesh combined to make it all one solid mesh. This does create some extra pieces up here. These don't do any good at all. Uh, so I'm going to go edit, delete all by type, which gets rid of most, but not all. All right, so now with this being one object, I'm going to go up here on my shelf and I'm going to make this object live. Go to mesh tools, I like to tear this off just so I have it conveniently ready to use. And go to quad draw. Now, the next thing I wanna make sure is I do not have my symmetry on because I have an asymmetrical object. So symmetry turned off, do quad draw again. And now I can freely draw on my model these new vertices. And I can click and drag it to the edge bring it right where I need. I can bring these in pretty much wherever I need them. Now I hold shift and it'll turn this box green this out of these four points I've just created and then just hit left click and it will fill a polygon in here. I can then just grab them and move them around. Make as many more as we need. If I need to delete any of these Hold down Shift, Control, an X appears, and just click on it and delete it. So now I can grab, move these around wherever I need them to. And I can again continue on this side. Now the blade's pretty simple, but I could also do something a little more complex if I needed to in here. And 
are still going to need to have that top ridge. Quadra doesn't always like triangles. So I'm going to add a third piece in here. Hover over this vertice here, drag it, and the icon will change. And that tells me it's merging these vertices. Now I can pull this up to the top, and I've got a triangle there. I can hold Shift and add an edge loop. I can now go and place this wherever I need this. And I can continue to work around the model. If I decided I wanted to bring these all together, I could in fact also do this down here. You can also hold down Shift and then just right click to relax these edges. Sometimes it will put the edges where you want them and sometimes it doesn't. So it just depends on where you need things to go. Uh, that tends to work better with heavier geometry. Now, once I go over my entire model, go back to object mode. I can now make this object not live or disabled. I could go in on this model, isolate that delete these polygons, and then weld it to it. Or I could just continue to draw over the entire model. I could continue to reduce further, taking some of these edges out. Turn on symmetry to select the others. We'll automatically pick those up. Shift right click, delete edge. So now I'm down to 1,208 tries on this particular model. So those are my three preferred methods to reduce poly count. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.